Hey, Scruffy. I'm early again. So not as early as yesterday. So there's still some sunlight left. Not much, but a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, yesterday was really early. Scruffy, I think, was not prepared for that. But uh, Scruffy is right at the door. And, uh, as I was getting uh, ready to feed him tonight, so tonight he is ready, or I'm later, or both. <clears throat> but he wasn't at the door uh, if I had tried to feed him uh, at the same time as last night, so that's still too early for him. Ready for your food? Looks like you're about to walk out. Get your dinner. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so food on the table. Let's take the water bowl off the little table. Get the glove. Scruffy's walking away. Okay, so he's back. <clears throat> so the weather is still on pause. The weather is, I think, pretty much like yesterday. So it's pretty clear. Still a little cold, but. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's pretty nice. It kind of got cold in the house last night and today, but <clears throat> other than that, yeah, it's pretty good. I think you're still seeing frost warnings, and yeah, there's Scruffy sniffing the chair again. So I didn't sense any skunk last night. Oh yeah, so about. Mm. Half hour after I fed Scruffy, <clears throat> I saw I saw Scruffy was out in my front yard, and uh, yeah, so he yeah still still leaving the yard, and uh, it looked like he was just kind of hanging out in the front. I don't know if he was going to go further into the neighborhood. Or just hang out in my front yard. wasn't sure. So he actually saw me. So I was I, I had stepped outside, uh, and he saw me. And he actually came a little bit closer, not that close, but a little bit closer. And then he just kind of sat on the edge of the, the garden and the paved paved part of the outside the garden and he just kind of sat there looking at me just trying to I guess he was trying to assess what I was going to do he's not probably not used to me seeing me out there <clears throat> and then a car happened to be driving down the street and got kind of close to uh, where we were and it yeah, it got loud enough that, yeah, the, I think, yeah, or, you yeah, know, maybe the headlights, I'm not sure, but, yeah, basically Scruffy decided, yeah, he didn't want to be exposed, and so he uh, started walking deeper into the, the yard for cover, and that's where I lost him. <clears throat> so, you yeah, know, Scruffy's still doing whatever he normally does, I guess, at night. Not hanging out here. But I guess he comes back sometimes, maybe. So the other night when I fed him the extra kind of late night snack, I'm guessing he probably toured the neighborhood and got back, and then that's when he was meowing for another snack or something. So maybe, yeah, maybe he works up a uh, appetite and going out, exploring the neighborhood. But yeah, I mentioned the other night, yeah, I smelled something like a skunk. And, 
but yeah, it went away last night, or yeah, so the smell was already gone by yesterday, and uh, so it's a little concerned about that, but yeah, I have, didn't, didn't sense the skunk uh, last night. So when Scruffy was sniffing the chair, it really made me think. That's yeah, because Scruffy was sniffing the chair a couple nights ago, and then sniffing around. I think yeah, also a couple nights ago, and then that's uh, was followed up by the skunk in the middle of the night. And I was wondering maybe if the two incidents were related. So I don't know. Maybe there's a skunk nearby still. I guess it makes sense if the skunk was here to begin with. There's not, no reason it wouldn't, wouldn't still be here. I think Scruffy's a little more into the pets tonight than last night. Last night, yeah, Scruffy, I think, was really suspicious of me being so early. Especially a little early again tonight. Last night I had to do something at our normal dinner time, so... <clears throat> That's why I was early. Tonight, yeah, I didn't have to do anything, but I ended up staying in all day. I didn't go out for a run or... Anything. I'm actually behind on some other stuff I gotta do. Um, but yeah, anyway, since I didn't go out and kind of like. I guess so. Ahead in the sense that, yeah, I, I, don't ha I didn't have that block of time taken out today. So I feel like I'm running a little bit ahead. And I had a, at a stopping point that was sort of, eh, I kind of want to feed Scruffy now. It's a little early, but. I'd rather do it now than wait. There's a headbutt there. So, yeah, I don't know if the weather is going to turn back, so I think, I didn't really check the schedule, the forecast that carefully today, but <clears throat> I think they're still drawing rain clouds at the end of the forecast, so they keep, so the forecast keeps showing the same, but it never, never changes from day to day, so they keep saying, oh, at the end of the forecast it's going to rain, and then next day comes and they say the same thing, oh, it's going to rain at the end of the forecast, but you know, we're day, day closer to the rains, but the the rains get moved back a day, <laughs> so they're constantly in the same uh, same situation. And uh, I'm surprised that uh, you know we're supposed to be in a storm right now, and it's sunny and clear. Feed Scruffy now. Okay, let's get your food, huh? So I'll, I'll grab the little table. Okay, let's get the food. And let's see if I can get the bowl a little more centered. Scruffy keeps knocking down the bowl. Still haven't come up with an idea about how to secure the plate from moving and falling off the table. Not that I've been thinking that hard about it.
Okay. Can't remember if I saw Scruffy today, except at lunch. I think I might have saw Scruffy in the carrier this morning, but I can't remember. I know I didn't see him on the rocks. Hey, and I man. don't think I saw him still nice. this afternoon. Uh, Not sure if that storm no, I take that back. back. I think I might have caught him once on, on the table this afternoon. But I. Yeah. It's already hazy. <laughs> yeah, I think he was sleeping on the table this afternoon. Yeah, I think I caught him sleeping on the table because uh, later on that afternoon I, I did do some pull-ups with my pull-up bar um, in a different section of the house. And sometimes Scruffy notices me and he'll kind of spy on me from a distance when I'm, I'm doing that. And uh, he didn't do that today, so I'm thinking he might have been sound asleep on the table still. And uh, yeah, so we did our normal lunch thing. And, yeah, I think it went pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So Scruffy just stepped away from the food for some reason. Is he going to throw up? He's acting like there's something stuck to the roof of his mouth. So yeah, he might throw up. Yeah, here he goes. No shame. It's really hoping the elevated table would solve the problem. I kind of expected he'd eventually throw up, but it's hoping to go a little bit longer than what we did. Although, yeah, we went, I think, over two weeks, which it's not the longest time he's gone, but recently he's been throwing up more often, so I think it helped. But yeah, it didn't help enough. Let's just keep trying. If he continues to throw up more frequently, I might. The next thing I might try to do is elevate the table even higher, or elevate the bowl, or something. So I think it's helping. It's just it might need to be a little higher. So he does hunch down quite a bit of ways to get to the food, so even though he's not as low as he was before, he still kind of yeah, has to lower his head quite a bit, so then maybe not enough to get the food to go down his esophagus. So I think I'm going to let Scruffy rest, so I'll probably give him a little more, a bit more kibble to look up for what he threw up, and then I might just let him eat in peace tonight. Looks like, yeah, he wants a break. Or he's going to go eat his vomit. There's actually plenty of food left in the bowl. But yeah, I guess he... Yeah, he doesn't seem to discriminate, so... But yeah, it, 
I don't think it ever got past this esophagus, so. It's probably actually almost exactly as it was in the bowl. Okay, folks. I think I'm gonna go in and then get more kibble for Scruffy and let him take a break. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, Scruffy. I thought you'd be gone by now. Just came to clean up. So, looks like you ate everything. That's sweet. You didn't move the balls. I can do that for you. Yeah, there's food under the balls you can eat. So it's been, I think, a half hour since uh, I stopped filming. <clears throat> so it's, you know, well, losing the last bits of sunlight. And I see a very tiny amount of red on the horizon. <clears throat> so the sun's most, yeah, it's been gone for a while. So I assume since I saw Scruffy out in the front last night, probably around this time actually, he'd be gone by now, but I forgot to turn off the lights here. So maybe he thought I was going back out, which I was, to clean up the bowl, but I already gave him extra kibble. <clears throat> so he didn't do a very good job cleaning the bowl. Two pieces of kibble there. Your food. Yeah. Okay, I think Scruffy's done. Yeah, I left some vomit. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.